YouTube. Uh, welcome to uh, a, a later, slightly later patch uh, update of uh, the review books. Uh, this We're adding it on uh, because it's uh, only a relatively minor one. Uh, but before we do that, I am Lucky Sixes. This is Hypergy. It is. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Good. I mean, orcs and goblins, you know, love orcs and goblins. I think even though you don't play them, you love orcs and goblins. Too, yeah, but, they're um, kind of like everyone has a little bit. Not everyone, most people have a little bit of a soft spot for them because they're kind of just so well known in mm, fantasy I think terms. So. They're a very classic fantasy yeah. race, aren't they? Yes. Um, and yeah, yeah we're, we're here for the orcs and goblins um, army book. I'm calling it a patch release, but it's just an update part as part of the um, beta. Yeah, the ongoing. Of, yeah. yeah. Um, well, they've changed all those names, haven't they, actually? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is an Orc and Goblin update. It, we're not going to go through the whole book in terms of uh, finer details. Go back to our original, um, original, original uh, review of the Orc and Goblin uh, new yes. release book uh, but be aware that obviously there were phases in between then and now were. that we haven't covered so yeah. You know, um, yeah but the reason we're doing this is because we did all the other books and we want to try and uh, catch up with as many as we can yeah we can physically do <laughs> so yes here we go um yeah. i mean yes. this one got released slightly later hasn't it you know, it did one, it did it was a few weeks after the others anyway so yeah so um so today is Tuesday. Will it will be released on <clears throat> Thursday as they normally do? Uh, Thursday the thirtieth, I believe. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. Uh, so first thing that comes up in the book, uh, Warcry is exactly the same. Uh, there is a new rule added into the uh, orig- uh, initial parts. Unprofessional courtesy. Uh, this is specifically going to be looking at the things like Gognak, Gognak, Gognak. Uh, initiative, <laughs> um, yeah. okay. uh, initiate. Sorry, uh, and, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, basically, because I didn't. I mean, I didn't think there was a need, but clearly there's a need to limit it yeah. to three per unit. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's. I think it's. It's the different types of that that entry, isn't it? Yes. Um, yes. Interesting to see them do it via a named rule. As opposed to a naught to three or something like that, but there yeah, must be so, a reason for that, which we'll probably see when we get to the unit entry. To be fair, yeah. So it'll allow three, per, and it will specifically be added to the Gog Dog Gog Talk Initiate and uh, and Madgit, and it'll be a, aligned so. yeah. ar- around the surprise rule. Yeah, uh, yeah, because this is different in the fact it's not during army building that you turn them into those model types. No. You just take the base model. And then in each player turn or at a certain time, you allocate them as set types of those models, which is why this is emphasizing per player turn. You can only choose three each per player turn. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. We'll, we'll um, probably be able to explain that in more context. Yeah, we will. But that. that's just a, you see a bit of blue and that'll be added in. Mm-hmm. Um, Ed Basher's, onto the special items, and there's uh, uh, two changes. Uh, Ed Basher's trophy first goes up by 10 points, uh, okay. can now be. Taken by Iron Orcs. Mm-hmm. But the biggest change of it, well, and, and the distracting has changed to plus one strength. So it's it's a purely offensive banner rather yeah. than before being a bit of a mix of everything. The biggest change uh, is that it's before the battle and it's for the yeah. remainder of the battle. So it doesn't change yes. each combat phase. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit like the Dwarf Hold Guardians, except you're mm. rolling a D3 for it instead of choosing it. Correct. Um, which immediately Orcs and Goblin players might... I mean, I've just made that comparison completely off the top of my head. But people are saying, why do I have to roll a D3 when everyone else gets to choose? Like the yeah. Exalted Herald, for example. He gets to choose as well. He gets you to know, choose. The Veil sort of Serpents have a yeah. thing where they get exactly, to choose. Yeah. It's quite a few, I think there's Whereas a few examples. this, you're having to pay 60 points and you might not get the one you want. But they're all useful. So They're all really good. I guess know, yeah. it depends who you're taking it on. Iron Orcs, I don't mm. think, will necessarily need the plus one strength but makes it makes very useful with paired, paired weapons, weapons right? super yeah good. yeah absolutely um yeah, so although lethal strike was always good with that as well uh and mm. that's i guess the you know, so um the fact it can be on iron orcs a great plus um mm-hmm. the strength so. to distract in i kind of 
I'm not sure I like it, but I understand it because it's a change aggression. to aggression. pure aggression, which is fine. Yeah, yeah um, I so. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like a, a pro of it, but I do think it's fine. <laughs> it's, I've got no mm. negative against it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the 10 points up, I would have kept it the same, personally. Yes, um, I for think the, so For the well. change. Um, but maybe maybe it's better that it's uh, throughout everyone. Yeah. Although you've battle. got to also factor in core tax into that because it can be taken. Oh no, models with Ed Basher only, so not core. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. But it can be Ironox, so that makes Ironox yes. even better. Cool. Mm. Uh, the only other change is the the Gogger Cauldron now, as it's called. Mm. Uh, it used to be Gogger Brew, now okay. Gogger Cauldron. Okay, so instead exactly of it being the, the liquid, it's the cauldron you get it in. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> otherwise all good. Um, then uh, lastly, Ooh, baby. In the uh, item, well, in the special item, sorry, <laughs> the is a Nasher items. item. <laughs> uh, oh. The Nasher whistle, very, very, very good. Um, we Massively. like this a lot. Everyone you, in the Orc and Goblin camp loves this. Yeah, yeah. use once only, maybe activated at the start of every player turn. Uh, of any player turn, not every. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say that contradicts right away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Until the end of the player turn, friendly Nashers within 18 inches gain maximized charge, battle focus, and frenzy. Uh, so, That's a whole yeah. load of packed rules to add in for 35 points, isn't it? It is, it is. I mean, yeah. the, the frenzy bit, I guess, uh, arguably is a negative, but um, maximized and battle focus, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I, I think mean, you're Renzi is only a negative Nashes. when you're not using a unit like you're probably using it. Uh, yep. Nashers are likely to not really be playing tactically or defensively. No. So Frenzy is probably not a problem when you're gaining battle focus and maximise yeah. charge. Uh, and, and, and as you say, relatively cheap. Mm. Considering I think enjoy this while you can. Yeah, <laughs> there's got a lot players. of potential. You, you, yeah. If you build your list right, this yes. 35 points is the easiest yes. thing you're going to include. Uh, but yeah, yeah, very cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, moving on, uh, no changes to Orc Warlord, Iron Orc Loner, Orc Shaman, or the Goblin uh, Demigog, yeah. which stays the same. Uh, Goglet Tuck Initiative, uh, uh, Initiate, and Mad yep. Gear, as we've said. Uh, gain Unprofessional Courtesy, which is uh, so the 0 3. I guess, I guess, looking at it, you, if you go just Goblin Army, you could have six of each. So you could put all yes. six in the unit. So it is just making sure that that's capped. Um, and, uh, what yeah, or it means you have to be patient and only rinse three each turn. Like, yes. Yeah. You know, uh, set to be yourself fair, they, up for battle slightly differently. But yeah. They did that. Uh, any unit can be chosen up to three times per player turn uh, for the Mad Get Surprise. Uh, so it's just turned into another rule. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Different way of putting it, but it's yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it makes the, more that's... sense when you compare it to the yeah, it's all good, it does, yeah. Um, so that's the change in the um characters section. Okay. Uh, in the mount, uh, from what I remember, there's only one change yet. Yeah, uh, Beastie gains light troops, oh, that's quite cool. Yep, so that when yeah. you pop that or have it on a character, they the unit doesn't lose light troops, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, Which is good. Yeah, and I, I guess also, uh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say something, but that was stupid, it was silly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, no changes uh, mm -hmm. there. Uh, in terms of, well, there aren't many changes uh, throughout. Actually, um, yeah. I don't think core from my notes are affected whatsoever. And we'll just okay. skim through just to double check that because I have been wrong in the past. Uh, no. but yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. believe it. Have I been right in the past? <laughs> it's, it's probably the real <laughs> yes, question. yes, you have. Um, Not, but yeah, I haven't. You probably have. Lot so well. no, no changes in core. Um, Albert, on to special. Iron Orcs are getting some love in this update, aren't they? Just wow. So That's yeah, they gain one. Halberd as part of their, I guess, four types of things because they have the yes. hand weapon shield. Mm. Great weapon, halberd, paired weapon. So, if agility ever matters, halberd's probably your option. And you still need strength, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, they could with the banner. They could also be strength six with halberds, um, yeah. strength seven with great weapons. Uh, did it? Mm. Did it add AP as well? 
It, it was just no, plus strength, no, wasn't just it? just strength, yeah. But you yeah, can so, see their AP pip is already slightly off kilter anyway. It is. Because they're so, AP2 to begin with. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I think overall Iron Orcs, I think you're going to mm. see a unit. Yes, These alongside the 19 Nashers. Nashers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be one scoring Everywhere. Iron Orc, a couple of core scoring units, and an army of Nashers. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, Iron Orc chariots, same neophytes, same. Mm, yeah. Uh, go goblin chariots, uh, Grotlings, same. Scratlings, uh, and over to Nashers. Nashers also continuing with the the items seem to be the ones getting their love in this update. Um, mm. They're now not to fifteen with for Nashers, okay. Nashers, I should say. Yeah. Um, uh, what were they? Do you have that written down? Do you know what Sorry? they were before they were not to fifteen? Uh, not to 10. Okay. Units. So that nice. so you can get bigger units. The reason they've done that as well is because they've now been given if you go the Nash Dasher route yeah, yeah. extra support too. Um, mm. So I mean Nash Dashers because they're part of the Nash's unit will still be affected by the whistle. Uh, the whistle as well. So yeah, I could see. I mean, <laughs> two of these, two normal Nashers, and some yeah. Ironhawks. Hey, right? no, I think you're wrong cool. about two. It's not to four, mate. There's not four, uh, but so... two Nasher dashes oh, for Army. Spoil, spoil, spoil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm right on that All one. Right. I'm wrong <laughs> probably about everything else. But I'm right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wrecking Team says <laughs> the same. Uh, yeah. Trolls, they're the same as well. That's yes. So they're, Good. they're carrying mm. on. Yeah. So trolls alongside your own orcs. <laughs> well, you're running out of points now. But yeah, I go know. On. Yeah, very mm. much so. Um, in terms of uh, goblin artillery and the uh, git launcher is the one to change around this time round. Um, its partial hit is adjusted. I'm not. I, I haven't uh, asked or requested confirmation on this, and it's, this is probably to me the most ambiguous rule ever written in the Ninth Age world. If I'm honest. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. So it used to be within three inches of the target if you got a partial hit, uh, yep. which was just the, the best chaff um, yeah. uh, option. Well, discouraging chaff, not really constant chaff. But yeah. No, yeah, sure. Um, deterrent. Yes, better word. One of the best deterrents um, for yes. smallish, medium -ish units going in. Um, but now it's. It has to be. It's still placed within three inches of the target, but says with as little of its base as possible inside the target's front arc. Now, I don't know because what the target as, could be a means. unit. Yeah. Right. So it could be a unit of, let's like, say, this big. Right. I'm with you. Um, which is seven by three. I don't know whether you've. <laughs> well, it was exactly <laughs> of, of any that. Time. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, the yeah. millimeter. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. yeah. That's, that's my my party trick at, at pubs. Mm. Um, I've, you've pulled it on me before. Lose yeah. me every time. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pull me once, right? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, it, being this, does that mean then, if you can put it out of the front arc, you have to? Because as little as possible oh, okay. yeah, yeah. means could mean none of it. If in... if zero is possible, then right right. Behind it. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. So what I what I would I I presume is if you cannot yeah, place that suggests, it, yeah. <coughs> or does Outside. it mean within the front arc? Eh, this is slightly smidgen. in. So I don't know. I don't really like the phrasing of this because it's already subjective. Um, yeah. But what I presume is, is it means that out of its front arc, if possible, and if not... Yeah, if that unit is surrounded on all sides except its front yeah. arc, then you can still place it. Within three inches of the target as well. So, yeah. I mean... There's not too many times where that's coming up. <laughs> no. <laughs> if if that's the not. case. Unless you're shooting in their deployment, your turn one, and they're still in their deployment phase. However, this is something I think I could most likely be wrong, and I need a rules as intended. Yeah. Someone uh, cleverer than us. Yes. It's probably so if, that, the answer is probably within the grammar somewhere. Yes, it is. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I just but I, can't I read it. Out. I read it like five times. I can't. I can't get the idea of it without being in, in that person's head. Uh, so if you are that person, <laughs> could you yes. put your head? In our comments, please, please, <laughs> so that we um, please. Uh, understand. Keep exactly it attached to your neck. Is meant yeah. by that. Yeah, uh, 
Well, I mean, if it helps the community. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> Noble it would be. Um, yes. uh, anyway, the, the other change, uh, which is madness, by the way, if that is the case, and the, probably the reason that I think it is the case is because it's dropped from 150 to 110 points. Yeah, although you've got to pay 90 points as well. So it's 200 points overall. Yeah, but it used to be 150 plus 90. So yeah, was, sure. in terms of the upgrade. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. so I think that makes sense to drop it by a load of points if now you can't put it in front of... When you units. get a partial hit, yeah. Yeah, is what is that's my that's my mm. whole reasoning behind it, because yeah. otherwise, but yeah, uh, if you if you are cleverer than I, which is <laughs> I'm not going to lie, ninety five percent of the people watching this, um, put it in the yeah. comments um, and let us know what what you think uh, or mm. what you know that rule is in, intended. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. You wrote it, yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah, wrote it, wrote it, <laughs> another wrote wrote it, <laughs> yeah. Rotten. Rotten. For the w. If, you, if, if you were the one that rotten it, then get involved. <laughs> uh, Giant says the same. It does. <clears throat> Guardian Bamoff, another one that's uh, been chosen for the change. Uh, so originally, um, so the initial price goes to 290 from 300. It's a slight drop okay. there. Good, good, uh, good. One of the best things, I think, for this unit. Immense bulk has been taken out of the choices and is now Ooh, a separate choice completely. Excellent. Which means Brilliant. effectively you could have three choices from the t- yes. two that you had before. That's very because immense good. bulk is its own thing. So basically, if you want a gargantula, you can have it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a better gargantula. Uh, what oh, we, with traditionally there is it'd be seven HP, whereas I think it used to be eight. It's uh, used res, to be 8 HP. Yeah. Res 6 and Strength 6. Already. Yeah, it used so, to be Strength 5. Yeah. The so old think, old version. So yeah, it is yeah, better than cool. the old one. Yeah, uh, so that's uh, stuck at 30 points uh, for that. Yeah. Um, in terms of the options, uh, Slytherin and Frame is still 10 points. Creeper Crawley has gone down from 30 to 20. Okay. Uh, so uh, the light... Uh, what's that? Light Throat Troops one? Uh, yeah, Creeper Crawley is listed earlier in the book. Which yes. does me every time I look at this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I was just like, oh no, have they changed the name? Yeah, um, where's Creepy Gorlies? <laughs> yeah, uh, Scarred, uh, Scarred Carapace are, are the same. Uh, and Wicked Horns has gone up from 35 to 50. Uh, so that's the impact okay. hits, which is fine. Yeah. I think clearly what yeah. the auto took. Because um, impact hits is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, overall, sex, yeah. I think a, a, a positive change for the Guardian of Bearmoth definitely makes it more versatile uh, and um, some different options in terms of points. Anyway, yes, yeah, sweet. Uh, uh, the Great Green Idol uh, has, I think, reverted. Uh, oh right, okay. uh, Green yeah. Tide rule uh, re-rolls one, uh, to wound rolls of one with its melee, t- mm-hmm. melee attacks within mm-hmm. six, rather than not losing your rank bonus. Yeah, um, for being a I mean, that that is clearly more useful. Um, well, it means you build your army with lots of line formations and stick a green idol behind it and not worry. Whereas this is in combat again. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it, it, it does push towards that. I didn't mind the rank bonus, not losing a rank bonus mm. thing. I'm, I felt it gave them more of a, a feel to it, actually. Yeah, the green tide does fit better with that rule mm. potentially but no it's it's fine either way i'd i'd love i'd love to know in the comments are there all goblins players who've played it more than me which is a lot of open goblin players that have hardly started yet um <laughs> you know are they thinking oh that's a shame it was so good now we've got to go back to this horrible rule which i don't think yeah. is a horrible rule but no is I... it disappointing to lose it no I, I don't think it's right i actually think it's probably better mechanically um mm. Because it applies to everyone. You know? Yeah, and I um, think it, I think it's less likely that you're going to surprise your opponent because during a big round of combat, both players will be working out the combat res as it goes to some extent, and then if you've forgotten sure. that the opponent yeah. has got their rank bonus and it happens at the end when you're counting up, that's a bit like oh. Yeah, I get. I guess having rank this bonus gone, on those you know. is another example of those rules where you go. You have to explain to people. This is a start. rule. Except yeah. for 
when this when like, they're near uh, yeah. great so, yeah i guess it's, it is less complex in yeah. that regard for sure mm. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah um that i think just looking at my notes very quickly i think uh wraps up yep i'll look at my the... notes as well yep yeah. we're clear <laughs> uh and <laughs> if we go over to the change log uh this will take all of them uh, just so you know and obviously uh you hyper g uh, 2024 is the Year of the Orc. I yeah, really hope so. Yeah, so, um, and so well, <laughs> yeah. and trolls. Uh, so and as Guardian well as your are definitely not thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, as well as your thoughts on this specific um, patch update, uh, yeah, in the comments, uh, and obviously those rules, uh, especially aligned with Git Launcher. Um, let us know what you think Hyper-G should be looking out for. What has mm. in the in the last few changes? Uh, yeah. What has become a, a, a really good option? Uh, give us some different op- uh, list building options, uh, things to think about, uh, and um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be he'll be looking and very grateful. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, we'll be taking some of those opinions uh, to heart. No, maybe not. Yeah, um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, for <laughs> for 2024. Absolutely. I mean, not not to. This video will likely come out around the same time that both you and I play Orcs and Goblins, in fact, at Stockport. Um, so I won't see any more about that for obvious reasons. Mm. Just, you know, go watch those reports. Yep. But it will give you a good little, it's a bit of an Orc and Goblin week kind of thing. Um, so yeah, go go enjoy those. And definitely give comments on whatever the, whatever the topic is. We love reading and we love responding yeah. to. It. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, and but if you're if you're not busy for the rest of the time. Go check out all our other patches, uh, mm. army but battle book reviews, um, battle book reviews, battle yes, book especially reviews. the Empire one because yes. we put a lot of effort into Empire. You know, more than we ever have before. <laughs> it's a definitely um, accurate statement. Thanks. So yes, um, go check that out. Go check all the others out. Um, go check our battle reports out, which are our bread and mm. butter. Um, and yeah. also go check out a uh, certain sort of Facebook, Twitter, Patreon. The forum, mm. and of course, right here on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, um, etc. That's it. That's it. You've <laughs> yeah. run out of your list. Yeah, there's nothing more to us. say. Just sign us off, lucky sixes. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate your time. Until next time. See you.